UFC 274, Charles Oliveira and Justin Gaethje for the UFC Lightweight Championship. The main event, Oliveira is a minus 188 on the money line, whereas Justin Gaethje is a plus 152. Brian, who do you have winning this one and how? I'm actually going to roll with Justin Gaethje here by knockout, which as of this recording is at plus 200, was plus 210 earlier in the week. So that's important to note. Uh, we've seen Justin Gaethje, even though I tend to lean to the more well-rounded fighters in these sort of styles clashes, styles clashes rather, Justin Gaethje uh, breaks down pressure fighters as we've seen with Tony Ferguson. And really, Tony Ferguson hasn't been the same since. And we saw him handle Michael Chandler, who's also going to be on this card not too long ago. So I'm rolling with him by knockout. Um, and I think he's going to catch him potentially early. So I'm also looking at Gaethje by knockout in rounds one through three, which is at plus 260 right now. If you think it's going to come a little bit later, because Charles Oliveira, uh, surprisingly in his career, never made it past round three. So plus 850 if you think Gaethje will get a late knockout in rounds three through five. So Chantel, what do you think? Well, Charles Oliveira, we know that he's got one of the best ground games in all of the UFC, and that's where he's going to want the fight. Don't sleep on him as a striker, though, because he's got a really nice check left hook. But Gaethje, as you mentioned, you know, he wants this fight upright. He's an elite striker, and he's got one hell of a chin. You talked about Michael Chandler. He took some major hits and was able to get the unanimous decision. But when I look all around to this fight, I think Oliveira will be able to get Justin Gaethje onto the ground. And once he does, I think think it's going to be an absolute wrap and his last fight he took care of Dustin Poirier and beat him by submission so that's where I'm rolling with on this fight I think there's value in taking Oliveira to win by submission at plus 135 and that's not the only big fight on this card this card is absolutely stacked Brian let's head over now to the strawweight title fight Rose Namajunas and Carla Esparza on the money line as of this recording, Nama Yunez is a minus 220, Esparza a plus 176. How do you see this fight going? And people should know this is a rematch of the first ever UFC strawweight championship that took place in 2014, in which Carla Esparza beat Rose Nama Yunez with a rear naked choke. Rose Nama Yunez has gotten a lot better since then, a lot better. Um, and I have her winning this. Um, and I'm actually going to go with a double chance bet here, Rose by knockout or on points minus 140 that was minus 120 uh, earlier in the week so hopefully that that levels out a little bit so we get a little bit more value i will also sprinkle on rose just a straight knockout at plus 380 carla esparza is 5-0 in her last five but three of those were non-unanimous decision victories and rose number units as i've said has gotten a lot better she's gonna try to outbox her and stay on her feet she's gotten so much better as a boxer as of late and I think she's just the best straw weight in the world right now and is going to prove it again. You mentioned it right there, Rose Nama Yunus. If she wins this fight, no doubt about it, she's the best straw weight in the entire world in this division. You talked about the first fight. I think that Rose is going to get her redemption in this one. In her last fight against Ya Shannon, she showed as far as the show that you know her ground and pound game was elite she got the stoppage and looked really good against her but as for rose nama Yunez, she's gotten better as you said we know that she's a dangerous striker and i think she's going to make sure that she actually gets a very good victory against as far as i'm talking about a classic finish i think she's going to get the tko KO victory and that's at plus 380 right now because as I mentioned elite striker and her grappling has gotten better we know that Esparza is a great wrestler but I think Rose Namajunas has a lot to prove she's going to avenge that loss that she has on her record and if you actually look her last KO was against Zhang Wei Li and that they fought twice in that first fight I believe it was a kick where she got the stoppage in that yep. one so I think that Rose Namajunas is going to get the KO TKO victory at plus 380 and i'm going to be betting on that one for this one and remember people bet responsibly do it with fanduel sportsbook enjoy the fights enjoy the weekend and we'll see you next time